Hey guys, welcome back. It's another review because I'm too lazy to make a stop motion. And here we have the amazing Age of Extinction Optimus Prime and Crosshairs. Fuck, that thing sucks. The best thing about this figure is the art mode. Um, it, it looks clean. It has customization because these are pre-owned. I bought them for 20 bucks, so I can't really be mad. It's, it's a good deal. Like some like logo in the back. And this, this is a premium finished version, I'm pretty sure. Just noticed, there's a gap. This, you, you hear that? That sounds so bad. Prime? doesn't have that problem but process does it's that age of extinction plastic and it, it's just terrible but the all mode is the best thing about cross series because it's a shell former it what do you expect the transformation is boring and yeah, it sucks but it look, the, the all mode actually looks good this is something i would try to drive but this green this green looks a bit light um in the video but it's actually like a really dark green really nice dark green and it looks good you know so the range and here we got the amazing the iconic age of extinction optimus prime and it just looks amazing it's there's no kibble at all for an optimus prime apart from this but that's easily ignorable um, it, it's, it just looks amazing. It's a dream come true figure. I've wanted this figure for fucking years and I finally have it. And it, it, it didn't, it didn't disappoint at all. This is amazing. This is fine. Fuck crosshairs. And for size comparisons, here's the first movie, Studio Series Optimus Prime. 30, not 35th, 10th anniversary version, which sucks because nothing tabs in. What up, it's... It's awesome. I prefer this one over this one, even though I like the flames on truck. It's just that this figure sucks because the transformation is terrible. But this, it, it, I just I just can't fathom how how amazing op this Optimus Prime is. Age of Extinction Optimus Prime is incredible. I'm fucking glazing this shit right now. Here are the, here are the robot modes and shit. This crosshairs suck. Crosshairs is just awful because of the show former. Like, like he's loose as all hell. The feet are loose. He has good posability. He has double knees, double elbows, wrist swivel, and um, this oh this part always is going up. Other than, it has good, decent articulation, he just can't stand up, really. He has to rely on his cape to stand up, and that, this, this thing. That's how he stands up. He can't stand up on his regular feet, because he, he'll just fall over. This, this, this actually, like, this sucks, and his accessory is actually kind of good. I like how it looks. It's a cool little gun, but he's never going to use it, because... He sucks. And now we have the amazing, incredible Age of Extinction Optimus Prime. But he is supposed to have gorilla arms, uh, according to like the boxes and how the figure is, but you can just do that and the arms are fine. This arm is loose, like like really loose. For some reason, I don't know why. How everything else on this figure is nice and tight, but this is just loose. The guy who previously owned this is a fucking dumbass. And he stinks too. When I got both of these guys, they stank like shit. Like actual shit. He has pretty good posability. He has this like chicken neck. Weird little chicken neck. The head the head sculpt, the head sculpt looks amazing. Uh fuck, focus. He doesn't have uh like uh color and eyes so he looks a bit dead but yeah, you can get over that he has light piping which is really cool his arms you know uh, double elbows he has wrist but it's kind of hard to do waist 
pretty good range on legs, uh, double knees, a mm, little bit more than 90, that's really all, and a pathetic fucking pivot, but this, this, this is still amazing, like, this, this figure is a dream come true, I've always wanted this figure since, like, 2014, like, it, it's just so amazing that I finally have this, and it's, it's a good figure, too, I thought I would get this, and it'd be disappointed, like, other figures, but, no, this, this is amazing, like, this is actually incredible, I, I love this thing, if he would stand up straight, the legs are, you know, <clears throat> This thing is fucking awesome. And for size comparisons, here's a, a movie prime, the 07 one. This guy's tall too. Like, look at that. This is a Voyager, and this is a Voyager. It, it's just amazing how fucking tall he is and how big. And he does, doesn't come with his gun. Um, I kind of forgot to mention that. He didn't come with his gun. And I don't really care. I'll just put the uh, ion blaster that uh, this guy came with. Pew! So overall, Optimus is good and Crosshairs is bad. If you find the Studio Series version of this guy, which is kind of impossible to find for a decent price, get him. Because this thing fucking sucks. And you can't get the Studio Series version for this because it's kind of sad how um, Studio Series just doesn't make favorites to use anymore. Um... I like Bayverse, it's nostalgic to me, and I just wish they would do it instead of literally fucking doing concept characters or more 86 Junkions. Like, I'm fine with them doing 86, just do both like they used to. But, you know, we're probably not gonna get an Age of Extinction Optimus Prime, the night version or the invasion mode, and probably till 2025 or 2026. So that sucks, but th you can just get this one, and he's he's pretty good. But he is kind of hard to find because he is a figure from 2014. If you find this for 50 or less, I'd consider getting it. 